In this video, I'll show you how you can get an AI to analyze your Google Analytics 4 data for you. It will summarize and create tables and graphs. And all you need to do is just to ask. For example, check this out. I run this basic landing page report in GA4 and uploaded the data into ChatGPT. And look, I've just asked some questions and it's providing these answers. It gives me the graphs, tables, and even recommendations on what to improve and suggestions for low hanging fruits. And that's just so powerful and it can do the basic analysis for you and more importantly, give you new ideas and angles to look for in the data. So let me show you how you can set this up. <laughs> Hello data people, my name is Robert and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. Make sure you have an account in OpenAI and that you have a ChatGPT Plus account. So that, that's basically the paid plan. Now, there is a way to do this free, but it's a lot of a hassle. And I think this tool is just so powerful that it's worth the money. In any case, just make sure you have that because otherwise you won't be able to follow this tutorial. So let's start with going to Google Analytics 4. I've logged in already. This is a test account, but I want to look at the landing page report. So let's head there. We click on reports. And then under engagement, you have landing page. Now I have dates here. I have already 90 days selected, but you can adjust that whatever you need it. And then if you scroll down, this is where you have the data and we're going to massage this data a little bit. We're going to filter out some stuff we don't want or just delete them. But if you want to do that already at this stage, or if you want to add certain things, like for example, a secondary dimension, I would do it at this point. And then you can use that data uh, with chat GPT. But in any case, let's keep it simple for this tutorial. Oh yeah, before we export it, just here, make sure when you have conversions that you choose purchase because otherwise it's going to take all the conversions and that's going to give you wrong data. We want the purchase conversion. All right, so now we can export this. Is You have this button here, share this report, and you should have here download. I don't have it because this is a test account. So if I go to my, to my personal website, GA4, then here, if I tap on share, you can download the file and just choose download CSV. You can see it's downloaded. So I'm going to use Google Sheets to open this file. So from here, file, I'm going to import, and then just upload, browse, select the file. Now we need to remove some fields. So this is not needed for ChatGPT. It might just get confused. So let's remove that. So here, just make sure there's the title here and that the data, you're happy with it. You could now delete some of these fields. Let's say you don't want to see homepage and not set. You can just delete those. And maybe it's not that interesting to look at with pages with very low sessions. So for example, a hundred or less or a thousand or less, depends what kind of data you have. So here's my uh, data from the test account where there's a bit more interesting. So I've already massaged it. I said, okay, if there's less than thousand sessions, I'm just going to delete all those rows. They're not needed because we don't want to look at, at just few sessions. We want to look at many sessions and get kind of a um, broader perspective, what's going on and where we can improve. So that's what I'm also doing here. So once we're ready, obviously make sure you save this file. So I'm here, download. And then for example, I would save it as a CSV for now. It's just a simpler format. And you can only, uh, in CSV, you can only have one tab at a time. So keep that in mind, but you can upload multiple tabs. We're making sure that the chat GPT won't get confused by all the tabs. It can handle them, but sometimes it gets a bit confused. So I'm going to keep it simple. So just downloading that as a CSV. Now we are ready. We can head to chat GPT. Before you upload your data to ChatGPT, make sure you're okay with sharing this data with OpenAI and ChatGPT. So there is nothing sensitive and you will have permissions from your company or clients to do this. Another way you could go around this is to anonymize your data. For example, turning the landing page URLs into numbers or code names. Data by itself has no value if there is no context to it. You can start a new chat and make sure you've selected GPT-4 and then you have these options here, default, advanced plugins. If you don't see those, you just come to your settings here. You hear settings, beta features, and from here, enable plugins and advanced data analysis. 
So let's hover over the GPT-4 and from here, advanced data analysis, select that. And now you have this little plus here and you can attach a file. So let's attach a file. This one, I believe it was. And now we just need to give it a little bit of context. Okay, what 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 is this file about? So I prepared some text here. It's just something to tell ChatGPT what this file is about and what it needs to do with it. Cool, now it knows what it, this file is about and we can start asking questions from it. We can start with something simple. For example, what are the top five landing pages with the highest conversion rate? Because in our report, we didn't have that. It's able to actually put that together and add new columns, basically. There you go. You have this now, this data, but okay. You can see these are the top uh, pages. Makes sense. There's a basket and some other pages. Now, if you want to see this in a table and for example, graph, you can just ask it to generate that. So let's say, can you display the conversion rate in a table and visualize it? So hopefully now it can just generate this one. And the more specific questions you have, the, the better answers you'll get, or the more specific answers it will also give you. Okay, I had to ask it the table separately because it was just giving me it in text. But when you like an answer from ChatGPT, always give it a like just so that it uh, learns what you expect and what kind of answers uh, are correct ones. By the way, I created a list of useful prompts that you can just ask ChatGPT to provide you with interesting data. And it's specific for e-commerce data and GA4. If you want to grab it, then just click on the first link in the description. So. Now we have, we asked very specific questions, but you could also ask more generic. For example, I don't know, we could ask something like, what are the low hanging fruits when it comes to revenue? So now it will actually take a look at the data and now, and provide some answers. So let's take a look. This one is quite exciting because you can ask more generic questions. You don't need to always ask specifically. It, it will pick up certain uh, things from the data and gives just new ideas for you. And look at this. So we asked a bit more generic questions. So what are the low hanging fruits when it comes to revenue? So here it kind of rationalizes it, gives you a bit of more context. Why is it doing this? Traffic is high, but conversions is low. Pages with high traffic, but low conversion rates indicate interest, but perhaps there's a barrier to purchase. Optimizing these pages could lead to quick revenue gains. It's pretty cool. So now if you scroll down here, you can see that it gives you some graphs. Here's some low hanging fruits. Conversion rate 0.3, you see, for example, this page clearly has a lot of sessions compared to the other pages, has a conversion rate of 0 0.03. That is really low if we compare to the other pages. Clearly there's an issue here. So something's going on. We would need to look into that. From here, it actually also says that despite having the highest traffic, it's conversion rate extremely low, making a prime candidate for optimization. And then it gives you some other uh, ideas here. Let me just show you what you can do with this because I've uh, used this other chat before. So I've already done this before. I did a lot of different questions to ChatGPT and then it provided me answers. You could just say here, summarize the data in the sheets or you could say also summarize all the insights you've given to me. And then it'll give you something like this where it actually just summarizes everything we talked about it. And this is something you could include in your reports. You could include um, in uh, when you present to your colleagues some of the findings, but please double check that some of that the findings are true. Sometimes it doesn't read the data correctly. So I would always spot check, for example, the conversion rates and things like that, that it is actually correct. But th I think this is so powerful. I am just ecstatic to use this more often. By the way, it's great to use tools like this, but you need to understand the data. Otherwise, you won't know if the AI is giving you the wrong conclusions. If you want to learn how to analyze e-commerce data yourself, then check this tutorial right here.